Hello there, my name is Fancy and in this tutorial I will show you how to create lights in Octane for Blender. It's a little bit more difficult than in a regular Blender, but we will figure that out, don't be afraid. Alright, let's set up some lights. Click Shift A and create lighting and area light, because area light is the only one that works so far. Let's set it up that it's looking at our screen, at our scene. And we don't see any change. So let's go to world and lower everything else. So now we don't see any light coming from the environment, but still no light coming from here. How is it possible? Well, first we will go to light setting and set it to use nodes. Go to shading icon. And as you can see, something is already happening. Sometimes you need to just uh, uh, exit uh, render shading and go back it will work for some weird reason and it also happened that it for some reason uh, set the size to zero i have no idea why so you need to make always sure if your light doesn't work that you check this setting all right once once this is done you can increase power because I want to have way more light there for about 500 and let's say that I want different color and so I can change I can try to change it here but nothing is happening because with black body camp emission you need to change temperature right here the higher that number will be the colder or whiter the color will be and if you want to it lower or warmer, you need to set it a little bit lower. Let's go for 5000 now. And as you can see, it's way more yellowish. If I would go for, for example, 500, it will be reddish, just how warm the temperature actually is. All right, that was fun. But let's try something a little bit more exciting. So let's delete it and create mesh and we will use plain mesh set it here and i will show you how we can do texture lighting which is way more interesting than this create plane and material delete <laughs> not that delete universal material and set up diffuse diffuse material set it to surface and now click again control shift a and find emissions and texture emissions set it to emission what an unexpect, unexpected twist and find some texture which you want to use well i have here color gradient color gradient is usually a very good choice i will use it for now but you can also use any kind of symbol or lighting you have you want for example our overlord mickey mouse don't tell him that i was speaking about him he he's good lord i meant so let's set it back to render setting and nothing is happening again so let's add here our texture i'm just i have just set it to color i've just downloaded that picture and move it here i set it to texture and now let's increase power i would start with 1000 and what's going on? It's projecting on this other side. That's to be expected because we need to go to edit mode, select all faces with clicking A and go to mesh and flip it, flip normals. Now that's what I wanted. As you can see, it pro it's projecting the light that's taking from texture into our model. Let's set it a little bit lower, but there's one one more interesting trick. You can actually use your UV map to set up only parts of the image you want. So to set it up, you need to go to UV. Uh, you need to go to UV editing and set it up to ten because you want to know what actually you are projecting, right? And set your UV map. To the parts you want to project for example let's say i will switch on render view let's say that i want to project only green core 
see. As I am moving the UV map, I am editing which part of the image is, pro is being projected to our model. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you can add multiple lights and all that, but you already know it, right? You are professional Blender users. Well, we are done. Now you are the lighting master in Blender. Octane part of the Blender. Well, whatever. I hope that you enjoyed it. That I hope that you learned something from it. If you did, destroy the like button. Just smash it. <laughs> Just joking, but it really helps. I will appreciate it. Anyway, if you are interested in other things I do, you can check out my social media in the description. And if you create something interesting, some amazing light setup that was never seen before, definitely tag me on Instagram or anywhere you would like to share your work. I would love to see it. And if I've, uh, in, if it will be interesting, I would love to share it. So, see ya.